few final thoughts uh, regarding shaping of uh, a wooden seat. Uh, the seat is completed now and I don't expect that it's visible in the video but the wood has a really nice shine to it from being plain with the grain and uh, the, the plain uh, crisply cutting uh, cutting the wood it gives a really nice sheen uh, be ashamed of to sand this um, I might uh, during the finishing process uh, sometimes I take some uh, a fine wet and dry, wet and dry uh, uh, paper yeah, 12, 1200 1500 grit and um, do a little buffing with the oil uh, but it's it's just uh, just from the plane itself it's a really nice uh, nice surface the uh, contours from right to left everything uh, appears to me even the depth the depth uh, the curves uh, everything is uh, looks uh, balanced to me uh, you can feel the the um, edges from the tool marks as I described earlier it's a round bottom uh, shaving and the it leaves a slight ridges but the line the, the lines of the uh, the seed are uh, fair, I believe. Uh, it's pleasant. Uh, it will be a comfortable seat. One of the main factors in uh, producing a comfortable seat is right in the, the middle here where a person, their butt, uh, sits. Uh, and tendency. Um, People who might have, who might not have much experience doing this, the tendency is to, to make a uh, c continuous curve shape, but that's really not what you're after. Um, for uh, seems to be the m most comfortable seat. You really want this area in the middle here flat, or even very slightly raised right in the center. You don't want this continuous curve shape at all. You want a certain straight flat area right in here. This is a this is a wide seat and uh, this is a six inch rule and there's a good six six inches slightly over um, of, of a flat area right in the right in the middle here and that's uh, that's the objective. So uh, seat needs to be comfortable. No matter how pretty the wood might be, without being comfortable, it's. Uh, as you can you can say it's really not a very good chair. So, so there are some additional tools I use. Uh, these these are Japanese nanking kana, as they're called, kana meaning plain, and uh, these are like they're just uh, essential for uh, the type of furniture making that I do. It's just uh, great, really excellent for edge work. Both curved surfaces and flat surfaces. Um, I suppose that one of these guys is in my hand more more frequently than any other tool that I, uh, that I use. Really excellent, useful tool. Um, maybe, maybe the subject of a of a, of a video later on if uh, people might be interested. So once again, Nankin Kana, uh, Japanese counterpart to what uh, in the West is uh, called a uh, spoke shape, generally. I do believe. Um, so I hope you, perhaps I've inspired uh, someone who hasn't done this type of work before to. Uh, to try their hand at it. Um, you don't really need to have a tool like a travishing iron or an adz. You can uh, use you can use uh, chisels. A number of different ways uh, to go about it. But if these tools are obtainable, I think uh, 
I might find them pleasurable to use, especially the Japanese planes. They're really uh, good steel and just really, really fine tools to use. Give the very, very good results. Uh, I don't, I don't measure anything in terms of. Uh, the right side, left side, how deep it is. Uh, at one point early in my experience doing this kind of thing, I might have uh, used some straight edges and measured, you know, right side, left side, see if my depths were about equal. But I don't do that anymore. It's just basically by how it looks and how it feels to me. And uh, all through time, this uh, this type of chair has had a certain amount of irregularity to it. And unlike some other types of chair making or cabinetry where high precision is the ultimate goal I think with uh, this type of chair making having a bit of a irregularity perhaps in the seat shape or some other parts of the, the chair uh, has a bit of charm warmth to it so it's mainly just uh, by sense that I go about you know, making, making these things So it's a lot of wood to remove, a lot of work. Um, so I enjoy the shape, the shape um, uh, evolving and uh, sculptural. It's just a enjoyable thing to do.